Population growth in the U.S. slowed a bit during the past decade, but don't be fooled. The U.S. is still growing rapidly compared to most countries in the developed world. Compare the U.S. with Europe, for example. During the past decade, Europe's population growth was one-sixth that of the United States, and there are several large countries in Europe, including Russia and Germany, where the population has actually declined since 2000. What's driving the rapid population growth in the U.S.? A relatively high fertility rate at around 2.1 births per woman is one factor. But in the U.S., it's also immigration fueling the rapid growth. Immigrants create population momentum by adding a lot of young people to the population, many of whom start families once they arrive here. Immigration is also driving rapid growth in Spain, the only large country in Europe with a faster growth rate than the United States. One of the most interesting demographic trends in the U.S. population has been the growing racial-ethnic gap between people in different age groups. We compared the racial-ethnic composition of the child population with those ages 18 and older, and we found a dramatic difference. Nearly half of all children are racial-ethnic minorities, while minorities only make up about a third of the population ages 18 and older. It's the rapid increase in Latino youth most of whom were born in the United States, that's driving this trend. Nearly one-fourth of all kids under age 18 are Latino, and this number is only going to increase in the future. By 2030, it's projected that Latinos will make up nearly one-third of the child population. The challenge here for policymakers is making sure that these kids, our next generation of workers, have the skills that they need to become productive adults. If you look at where population growth has occurred over the past century, you'll find that most of the growth has taken place in metropolitan areas. A hundred years ago, about 28% of the U.S. population lived in metro areas. Over time, this percentage has steadily increased, and today, more than 80% of the population lives in metropolitan areas. A big part of this increase is due to changes in the definitions of metro areas over time, and the fact that geographic areas are reclassified as metropolitan areas get swallowed up by suburban sprawl. Historically, most metropolitan area growth has been in the suburbs rather than central cities. But since 2000, the population in central cities has rebounded. In 2010, the central city population at 33% was at its highest point since the 1950s. The recession may have played a role in this increase by pushing people back to urban areas in search of jobs. Others may have been unable to migrate away from cities because they couldn't sell their homes. The question is whether these city dwellers will stay put or will they return to suburban areas once the economy improves. Although the U.S. population increased by almost 10 percent between 2000 and 2010, growth rates varied widely across counties. About one-fourth of counties grew faster than the national average, with one-tenth increasing by 20 percent or more. The population continued to increase fastest in states in the South and the West, but even within high-growth states like Texas, a number of counties still lost population over this decade. Although Michigan was the only state whose population declined between 2000 and 2010, more than half of the counties in Michigan still grew over this time period. The areas with the fastest growth tended to be the suburbs of major metropolitan areas, while many rural areas lost population, including much of the Great Plains and northern and central Appalachia. In fact, nearly half of the 1,104 counties that lost population during the decade were isolated from metropolitan areas, and some of these counties have been losing population for decades. Long-term changes in the U.S. economy, along with the recent recession, underlie these patterns of county population growth and decline. For example, in the past 10 years, counties whose economies were dependent on farming, mining, or manufacturing were more likely to lose population, while those whose economies were dependent on services were more likely to grow. But retirement destination counties were among the big demographic winners, with one-third increasing by 20% or more between 2000 and 2010. With the big wave of baby boomers entering retirement over the next decade, these counties are likely to continue to experience rapid growth.